Okay, so now we are going to do another video on CSS, and in this video to learn about internal style sheets. And an internal style sheet is a little bit different to what we had last time. Last time we did uh, an inline style sheet. So we changed this header tag here, this h1 tag. We made it red, and we did that by putting an attribute in here called style, and then we had that attribute with CSS in it for the color, with a rule, a new CSS rule that said set the text color to red with the semicolon at the end to finish it. So now we're going to do an internal style sheet. And to do an internal style sheet, you can put it up here in the head section. Now you might have forgotten about the head section, but it's this section up here. It's different to the body section. The body's where all the stuff that people see on your page. That's here. But the head section, that's the stuff that generally is seen by just Google and and by the browser. And it's not really, you don't really see it when you look at a web page. Like if I look at this web page, I don't really see the stuff in the head section. Um, in fact, this in this particular instance, I can see it, this my web page because the title is up here. But that's that's digressing. That's a, another point. We, we I covered that in the HTML videos. So let's let's now do an internal style sheet. I'll just do it and then I'll explain what I'm doing. So I'm doing a new tag called script. So I've got the opening tag, script, and closing tag, script. And then, basically, everything in here is now CSS. And remember, the CSS is different. CSS, you have to have rules like this. It's different to HTML. I actually wrote that down somewhere. But anyway, this is how to make a rule. And I actually drew it out here as well, if you remember. This is how to make a CSS rule. First you have to have what it is you want to change, and then you have to say what it is you want to change it to, with a colon in between and a semicolon at the end. So let's do that now. Say we want to set um, all the H1 tags on this page. So any time we have a, a, a piece of writing like this, like an H1, we want it to be, mm, let's see, we want it to be green, okay, so let's say, let's make a rule now, so we're going to say any H1 tags, that, that means any H1 elements have the following CSS rules, those, those are little curly braces, you have to use shift and it's above the square, uh, square brackets, these are called curly braces, these are, so have the following rules. They have the text color red, colon, red. Oh, sorry, sorry, we said green, didn't we? Green and semicolon to finish. And, and uh, this is the end of the rules now. So all the rules go in here. And these are the rules for the H1 tag. So, so basically, the browser comes along, this browser comes along, and it says, oh, there's a web page here. And there's some rules. There's some there's some in uh, there's some um, internal style sheet rules, and one of them is any time I see an H1 tag, and you can see it highlighted here, I have to make that green. Now, so I'm going to save that, and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Nothing happened. Now that's a bit of a trick question because I, I knew that was that was going to happen. What I want to show in particular is that last video we did a an inline style sheet, that's this thing down here, and the inline style sheet will always ha will always take precedence, it will always um, do it, the, the browser will do what's in here first, and then it will look up here to see see if anything else is, and if, if, if it does, if there's two things saying the same thing, it will take this one as the rule, not this one, because this one is the, the kind of the, the one that's closest this is the, the main one. This is like someone actually shouting right here. This is definitely red, this one. Whereas this one's like, well, you know, like lots of things are red. You know, like any H1 tags are red. But let's just fix this now. I'm going to fix this problem. I'm going to get rid of this attribute here. And I'm going to save it again. And I'm going to refresh this. And now it should be green. Oh, it's not green. What? Why isn't it green? Oh, I wrote script. That's my own fault. Big, a big mistake here. Sorry, my own fault. This actually needs to be 
uh, and I will just check it myself. I'm just going to look on W3 Schools and just check it. The internal style sheet, you need to have style. This is the, the tag that needs to be. So let's, uh, let's put that in here now. So I actually, so my mistake, sorry if you're watching this and you've, you've already skipped ahead, but you actually need this. You actually need it to be style. It needs to say uh, type equals text slash CSS, question marks. And it also needs to finish off with a, a, a style as well. There we go. So now this will work. Now let's check it. There we go. Now it's green. Can you see that? And one last thing for this video. Um, I just want to show you that if we were to do another H1 tag, say we were, to, we were to take this H1 tag, and we were to put it down here under this image, we were to have another H1 tag that says, this is another title, and here's another title underneath it. I'm sort of making a point here. Here's another one. This is another, and this is yet another title. Then we save that, you'll see that all of them should come out green. You see, all of them are now green. Because this rule up here, that we put in here, in this style, internal style sheet, this says any H1 tag. Not just one, but any H1 tag. So here's the problem. What if I wanted this H1 tag to be green, and this one to be, or, or maybe I wanted all H1 tags to be green, except for this first H1 tag, which I wanted to be red. How would I do that? Well, I could do it with a, an, in, uh, an inline style sheet like I had before, but I want to do it all in the internal style sheet up here, so how do I do it up there? Well, that's one for the next time, the next video, which will be all about IDs and classes. So wait, out, wait, wait for uh, the next video where we will look at that. So I hope I haven't confused you too much. You might need to watch this a few times, and... Uh, and, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So see you then. Bye-bye.